Three men have been jailed for their parts in tit for sat shootings in Nottingham. The jury heard how a shooting at a car in Tennyson Street in Radford on the 3rd of August 2018 was reciprocated with the revenge shooting weeks later in Old North Street in Radford on the 21st of August. Thankfully, while causing minor damage, both shots missed their targets. The incidents formed part of Operation Snapper, a complex investigation into the supply, distribution and management of firearms relating to a gang grounded in the St Anne's area of Nottingham. Members of the gang were feuding with several rival gangs from across the city. One of these rival gangs operated from the Radford area and the tension between them led to a string of vicious incidents involving guns and knives. In April 2019, four people were jailed for their involvement in the second revenge shooting. In November 2019, three others were jailed for a further foiled plot from March 2019. It can now be reported that two men, Richard Burnett and Traquam Lambert, were recently jailed at Nottingham Crown Court for assisting those who carried out the All North Street shooting, as well as for their involvement in the March 2009 plot. The sentencing took place on the 19th of May, but there were reporting restrictions which have now been lifted. Burnett of HMP Nottingham was sentenced to 24 years after a jury found him guilty of conspiracy to wound with intent to cause GBH, conspiracy to possess a firearm with intent to cause fear of violence and three counts of possession of an offensive weapon in a public place. Lambert of HMP Nottingham was sentenced to 18 years after the same jury found him guilty of the same offences as Richard Burnett. The judge said he was satisfied Richard Burnett was a ringleader and that Lambert had played a lesser role and this was reflected in their respective sentencing. Third defendant, Rudy Burnett, was also sentenced for his part in the March 2019 incident. The 30-year-old was sentenced to 11 years after a jury found him guilty of conspiracy to possess a firearm with intent to cause fear of violence. They will also serve two-thirds of their sentence in prison and the rest on licence. Delivering the sentences, Judge Stephen Coupland said the revenge shooting involving Richard Burnett and Lambert had been a terrifying incident that created a real risk of injury or worse. He added the foil plot from March 2019 in which all three defenders armed themselves with knives, a truncheon and a loaded pistol went looking for rival gang members in a van. The judge said you drove around looking for people. It was just luck that you missed them. I have no doubt that had you found them, these people would have been attacked by your group wearing balaclavas and using these weapons. Following the sentences, Detective Inspector Mark Adder said this was a complex investigation undertaken by a large regional team into a tit-for-tat gang rivalry that culminated in the use of guns on Nottinghamshire streets. It was only a matter of time before a bullet was going to make contact with a person, intended target or not, and no doubt result in very serious harm or even death. Organised criminal gangs should be under no doubt that the police possess significant specialist investigative capabilities that will use them to break up their activities and keep the community safe. Guys, that's a story coming from Nottingham. Let me know what you think. It's your boy GC. Keep it locked. Keep it real.